So I figured before Vitaly deletes his videos again about him admitting he's a fake prankster, I would share with you him admitting he's a fake. The real strangers. I have big balls and I'm not a bitch. Out of 165 videos, I maybe faked five videos. And Everybody knows that we faked pranks back in the day. Yes, I faked some of my videos, but I'd rather fake pranks than fake my religion and my... All right, now let's go a little bit into the FouseyTube versus Vitaly showdown. Not want to fight you. So you know what? You like, who do I dig in? Who do I start drama with? Who do I have history with? So you pick me. And you Wait, what? I thought you started this whole thing. Bitch number one, FouseyTube. FouseyTube, you're the biggest bitch on YouTube. You're a crybaby. You had guts to say that 99% pranks are fake. Yeah, because 1% real is me. He went oh, so right. Carry low, on, so fucking low to get views and be mainstream on YouTube again, that you said I sexually assaulted a woman. I would want to let viewers know how much of a fake scum you are. You're the fake instead of fake. Talking so much shit about Adam Sala. Fake Arab, he makes you look bad, his content sucks. And now what? You're best friends with him? Are what, 9,000? There's no way that can be right. So the reason I'm even making this video is because I am a YouTube prankster who's been making prank videos since 2012. And I have been calling out Vitaly as the fake prankster he is since 2013. Why? Why, do, why does it matter to me? Why, why should I care if he's making fake pranks and I'm making real ones? Because a lot of the bigger YouTuber pranksters like Vitaly, FouseyTube, and... I could go on and on about all these other YouTube pranksters, I'm just not going to go there. Just the simple truth is, all these pranksters collabed together so they were piggybacking off of each other and making sure that their fake pranks were always on top. And that little guy is like me never stood a chance. Not that it really matters at this point because YouTube pranks have kind of fallen off the radar, hence why I no longer make YouTube pranks. The thing of it is, is I called this guy out for a long time as a fake and most people commented in my videos saying, you know, you're just a hater or no, his stuff's real or he streaked the World Cup, that's real. And it's like, okay, so he does one real prank and then absolves all of his fake videos? No, if anything, it's just the opposite. When a few of his fake videos got exposed by the prank reviewer, and such as myself, that should pretty much throw in him into doubt for pretty much anything. Any video he has ever done is pretty much questionable as to whether or not it's real or not. And I know some of you are sitting here going, well, it's entertainment. If you're entertained, then what does it matter if it's fake or not? People watch reality TV all the time and we know that's all fake. Well, here's the difference. Some people don't know reality TV is fake. Some people out there still think wrestling is real. But what makes it more of a crime in my eyes is that he denied it for so long. For so long. And then he didn't even like make a confession. It was just more of like, yeah, yeah, I fake pranks. Everyone fakes pranks. It's, it's like he never really came clean. It's like, I'm not really a huge fan of FouseyTube, for example. But when proof came out, when one of his actors came out and admitted that he got paid 30 bucks to basically star in a Uber driver prank or whatever... FouseyTube kind of owned up to it and he goes, yeah, I, I I did fake pranks. And everyone wanted to roast the guy for it because, yeah, he did fake pranks and that's not cool. But at the same time, at least he owned it and admitted it to it. But Vitaly will sit here and actually go, oh my god, FouseyTube does fake pranks, I'm going to hate on this guy. Where it's like, you're, you're just as guilty, if not more guilty. And there's a lot more proof coming out that Vitaly faked pranks from FouseyTube because FouseyTube and Vitaly were at one point good friends. Well, maybe not good friends, but they were at least friends. They were working together. And that's what I think is really sad about this whole thing is that FouseyTube, Vitaly, uh, Loft TV, all these YouTube pranksters, they worked together. They made things. They were very well liked by people and, and just... They turned on each other, and because they turned on each other, that is ultimately one reason I think YouTube pranks have ultimately died out, because since the big kahunas, as we call them, got exposed, no one wants to believe anyone does real pranks anymore, and that's why people don't watch them anymore. But I'm going to show you this little, this little clip here really quick about 
how Vitaly even got his hat in the first place. And this is from Rhett and Link's Ear Biscuit video. So here you go. conclusion, I don't really need to roast Vitaly because he does a good enough job of that himself. Almost everything that's been said in this video is pretty much of him roasting himself. He admitted he does fake pranks. He admitted he d he got the idea from villains from FouseyTube that he admitted he doesn't even know what that is. He goes back and forth, changes his story, and that's all there is to it. You can't believe a word this guy says. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.